Hey guys, Todd from Also Airsoft bringing you a video on the Elite Force M4 Midcap. So I wanted to make this video about the Elite Force Midcap because it is one of the cheapest midcaps that is on the market for airsoft. And a lot of people use it, a lot of people don't, a lot of people think it is cheap. You know, just things like that I want to address and give you guys a full review on this midcap magazine. So starting off with a couple features, this thing is full plastic, they are full polymer, besides the metal spring on the inside for the midcap capability obviously. But everything else is full polymer, so the lip is polymer right here, and the base plate, which is just part of the mag, is polymer. So, these things are definitely not going to break on you. They're not really cheap plastic. They are very high density, sturdy polymer. You're not going to be dropping them one time and then breaking in half, anything crazy like that. These things are going to hold up on you. Um, they're meant to be abused, and you'll be fine with them on the field. So... The next thing about these mid caps is these do hold 140 BBs. Um, that is what they're advertised to hold. I'm not exactly sure if they actually go up to that many. Um, me personally, I probably wouldn't fill them, you know, to the mats because that is just going to put more wear on your mid cap. So I'd probably just fill them, you know, 100, 110, something like that, and just a good middle number. Um, so the reason why these things are so cheap, obviously, is because of the fact that they are full plastic. But Elite Force is able to bring a good quality mid cap to you for a cheap price. I mean, you can buy these things in 10 packs for like 60 bucks, which is something that the airsoft market has never really seen before these mags. Um, if you compare them to like the KWA, K120, and the GMP high RPS mid caps, I mean, those will run you 60 for 6, I think, for KWAs, and then 50 for 5 on the GMP. So you're getting double the mags for the same price, so you can't really beat it if they're good mags. Um, so, I have used these mags personally before, I have ran them in an Elite Force M4, and they ran fine, um, but I know a lot of people use them with GNGs, and they do have feeding issues, so, I think the reason for that is, is because this mag is sort of slim, um, so to speak, compared to other ones, they are just slimmer in profile, so, you might have to do a little bit of a tape job, or put Velcro on it, um, you know, inside your mag well to make them feed a little bit better, but, I know that they work with Elite Forces, I know that they also work with KWAs, so if you guys have any questions, I'll definitely try them out for you, just leave a comment down below, and I'll make sure next time I come in, I will try one and whatever gun you're asking if we do have it, and I'll let you know if it feeds. So one problem that I do know that Elite Force midcaps have is the fact that this little base plate thing, the one that holds the spring in, um, this just twists on and off, it does tend to slip out on some people, so... It might loosen up a little bit, you know, be turned whenever you're playing with it a couple games. So, what I would do is just take a little bit of Loctite or Super Lou. Just Super Lou it in there if it does move on you. Again, I mean, some do and some don't. They don't all move. Um, just something that I've seen in the past. And if this does come out, your spring is going to shoot out. And you'll have to go find it and do all that stuff. So, just make sure you make sure that it's secure if it does cause you any problems. But other than that, these Elite Force midcaps are nice for what they are. I mean, they're relatively budget-friendly. And they're good midcaps. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, thank you for watching. And just leave a like if you liked it. Leave a comment, again, if you have a gun that you are thinking about buying these for. And I'll definitely try them out for you. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Let's talk from all serious off. Signing out.